Welcome to Christ Notes. Thanks for logging on today. We're going to continue talking out of Galatians, Galatians chapter 1. And we'll go down here to verse 10. We'll start in Galatians 1.10. It says, Now am I trying to win the favor of men or of God? Do I seek to please men? If I were still seeking popularity with men, I should not be a bondservant of Christ Jesus. All right? We aren't going to be very well liked. And you know the ones who are not really going to be liked by? The phony religious people. The wolves in sheep's clothing. Jesus wasn't liked by them. Paul wasn't liked by them. John, Peter. It's really not so much the world, the common people that will dislike us. It's really the government and the, and the religious governments that will hate us. Why? Because we're out there saying it's not about an organization. It's about Christ. Christ gives us all power. No one's better than anybody else. So whether our Father causes us to work all of our lives to the last day of our life, or whether he gives us five denarii or he gives us three denarii, it doesn't really matter. We all get the same reward. We're all many members of the one body. And, and governments and religions don't like that. Men like to, to, to puff themselves up, just like in the Sermon on the Mount, where they love to pray, wearing the special clothing on the street corners to be seen by men. And they love to talk about how, oh, we gave this and we gave that, and I'm, I'm a doctorate of this, and I went to school here, or I've been a preacher this long, blah, blah, blah. None of that matters. So when we come and we say, hey, Jesus is for everybody. He'll work through everybody as powerfully as he works through anybody. He doesn't favor anybody over the other, and there's nothing you have to do to get it. You don't have to be a member of a church, a member of a denomination, anything like that. Christ is so much better than that. They hate it because they want to put rules and laws and regulations on us. So we, when we're pre preaching complete freedom in Christ, you will not be liked. But that's all right. Jesus says we're blessed blessed beyond expression when men revile us for his name's sake. We're blessed when we're persecuted, blessed when we mourn. So don't ever fret that you're going to be persecuted. And Paul was even sick while he was being persecuted. He was imprisoned and, in, and being persecuted for what? Telling the, the truth. Just telling people, Jesus loves you so much and stop worrying about what you think you've done right or wrong. None of that matters. It's Christ in us that matters undeserved favor, undeserved mercy. God's consigned us all to disobedience, only that he may have mercy on us all alike, complete and total freedom, complete and total liberty in Christ. It says, For I want you to know, brethren, that the gospel which was proclaimed and made known by me is not a man's gospel. So, what did Jesus say? I'm a rock of offense. I'm a stumbling stone. It makes no sense to people. People think we need laws, we need rules. But Jesus said, he came and he nailed all that stuff to the cross. He, made, he nailed all the rules and regulations to the cross. He made a show of them openly. He triumphed over them in it so that now we have complete and total freedom. We're now dead to sin, not by any works that we could ever do or because we kept any laws, just because Jesus' sacrifice was that great. He was just that successful on the cross. It says, For indeed, I did not receive it from man, nor was I taught it, but it came to me through direct revelation given by Jesus Christ the Messiah. And that's what we all have. Jesus, they were talking about how great Jesus was and how great it was to be here with him. And he says, I tell you, it's better that if I go away, because if I go away, I'm going to send the Holy Spirit to you. And what's he say the Holy Spirit will do? He'll only teach us all things and bring all things to remembrance, whatsoever things Jesus has ever said. We have that mind. We have the mind that's in Christ. So you don't have to be a prophet. You don't have to be a pastor. You don't have to be a, a, a teacher or even active in the ministry for our Father to teach you every last thing that there is to know. We will all know the truth, and we will be set free by the truth. And so Jesus will give us, he, that shows us the intimacy that our Father wants with us. We don't have to go to a brother or sister to learn about our Father. We have direct access and a direct revelation from Him. He's always there teaching us. He's always there making sure that we you know, know what to say, what, because He tells us, don't ever worry about what you're going to say, because at the very moment, the Holy Spirit will give you utterances what to say. See, we have complete victory in Christ, and it's in spite of ourselves. It's mercy. It's grace. So, hope that helped you. Be encouraged to stay in the power of our Father's might. And, Lord, thank you so much for logging on. It's, it's really fun and a pleasure to be able to share the truth that, that has given me hope with you. And I'm, I'm really grateful. Thanks, and have a great day.